Good morning. Our lesson today is going to be about listening. And you know that listening is very important skills in, in English, in English language. And today's lesson is going to be about Unit 4, Adventure. Let's start. Pre-listening. Do you like motorcycles? Why and why not? You need to think about this. Do you know motorcycles? And why do you like it? And why not? If you like motorcycles, that's good. It's convenient and you can find it anywhere. And you can save yourself actually from being in a traffic. As you know, see now the cars, okay, all over the city, okay, having some problems. But now, when you use the motorcycles, okay, you don't need to be in a traffic and take your time, okay? Very good. So, what kind of events do you think take place at a motorcycle rally? Motorcycle rally here, okay, is something different. Maybe you have heard about the rally word, okay? Actually, rally, it doesn't mean that it's race only, okay? Sometimes, motorcycle rally, it's a gathering for all the motorcyclists, okay? And the motorcyclists use the motorcycle rally here to buy, sell motorcycle, even race, or sometimes to customize their motorcycles, okay? So motorcycles rally here is not for race only, okay? So be careful about that. In this lesson, inshallah, you are going to listen okay, to a conversation. And this conversation have too many parts. Okay? And you are going to do it by yourself. I will help you by seeing the notes here. Okay? Very quickly. You are going to hear a radio program about a motorcycle rally. You will hear the program in several parts, and it's important to know that it is in several parts. After each part, you will hear some questions. You won't see the question. You're only going to hear it, okay? So be careful. For each question, choose the correct answer. First, listen to the introduction and know the example question. Now, you are going to listen, for example, Okay, before we start, okay? But first, note, remember that you will hear the program only once and that the questions are recorded and not printed. The program is recorded. Number two, read the options quickly before you hear each section of the program, okay? This is so, so important to know, okay? The program is that you can predict, okay, to guess. Nice. The question and focus on the corresponding. What does it mean corresponding? It means the other or if you have several meaning of the same one. Bars of the program. Listen to each question carefully. And I mentioned carefully here. And make sure that you choose the option which answer the question. Last, don't work on a question while the next question is being spoken. And this is important, okay? You have to listen. If the question, uh, the next question opens or hear the next question, stop working, stop answering, okay? Just hear the question, then you will answer. Now, let's go for example, okay? Here, read the examples. A, every year. B, every two years. C, twice a year and he already mentioned here the answer the correct answer is a this is an example you are going to hear please remember that unit four you are going to hear a radio program about a motorcycle rally you will hear the program in several parts after each part you will hear some questions for each question choose the correct answer first Listen to the introduction and note the example question below. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Q and thanks for tuning in to Radio Ride, the ideal program to listen to while you're on the road. Today I have the pleasure of being at the 68th Annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in 
Sturgis, South Dakota. Example. How often does the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally take place? The correct answer is A. Every year. Okay, nice. This, is, this was an example, and the correct answer is mentioned here already. Okay, now let's move to practice, and please focus. You have several parts, okay, and you need to hear, okay, and to see the options before you answer it. Okay, these are the questions. You won't see the question, you only hear it. Okay, so be careful of this. Okay, are you ready? Now we will start hearing the conversation between these two men.
points that I have customized to pleasure sale. A. What did Bob do when he first attended the rally? Which bike did Bob stand up for sale? Wow, you are a true artist, Bob. Best of luck to you. Now I would like to hear from some other riders. I see a man on the bike getting ready to start his engine. Hello, you're live on Radio Ride. Can you tell me a bit about yourself and why you come to the Sturgis Rally? Well, of course. My name is Tom Jones and I've been coming to the Sturgis Rally for about 40 years now. I first came with a friend of mine and completely fell in love with the area and the rally itself. One ride through the Black Hills was all I needed to see why so many riders come to Sturgis. I knew I had to come again, both my own motorcycle. So, I bought my first motorcycle and came the following year with two of my friends. Twelve. Who is Tom Jones? Okay, thank you so much for listening. Now, we are going to answer and to check your answers, of course. Okay, so we'll start with number one here. And as you can see, okay, you won't see, as I said, the question, but I will answer, okay, as you can hear the question only. Okay, let's start with number one. And he was asking about where is he from? And if you can see here, we start with that C is the correct answer. Okay, nice. Number two. Number two, the answer is B. Number three, the answer is C again. This is the first part. Now let's go to the second one, please. Number four. The answer is B, five, also A, and six is going to be C, number seven, the answer is B. This is, or oh, this was, the second part. The third part now, starting from eight. So the answer of eight is C. Nine, the answer is B, very good. And 10, the answer is B2. 11, and this, is the, uh, this was the last question of the third part. And the answer is B, again. Now let's go to the fourth part. Number 12, the answer is B. 13, the answer is C. Very good. Now let's go to the other one.
14. The answer is A. 15. The answer is B. 16. B. 17. A. And this is, oh, this was the fifth part. Now let's go to the final part here. We have 18, which is B, 19, C, and 20 is going to be A. Okay? Now, this is, or oh, this was the last thing. You must know that in listening lessons, okay, you need to only focus on the question and find out the best answer. This is the really way that you can know how you can deal with the listening, okay? So, as you can see here, we had tried today and exercise how we can manage that. And you know that in English, listening has too many skills. And the important skills to know here, you need to hear the question carefully, and before that, you need to read the options that you have, okay? Because in, in listening, in the final exams, for example, okay, you are going to need to focus on the question, okay? You, you must have a very good hear, okay, skill, and you must read and understand at least the corresponding, because sometimes when you hear something in the, the program itself, okay, or in the conversation, okay, the most important thing about that, you must know some vocabulary. It will help you to know the corresponding, okay? For example, let's go back here again. For this note, okay, and you know that it's so important that you know this note, okay? Here, remember that you will hear the program only once and that the questions are recorded. Read the options. So many, you have so many skills here to do. This is number two, very important, okay? Read the options. You need to read the options quickly before you hear each section of the program so that you can predict, okay? What does it mean to predict? It means to expect something. The question and focus on. Focus, it means you need to find out the thing that, or the, the, the more, more important choice you are going to read. The corresponding parts, corresponding parts of the program. Three, listen carefully. Listen to each question carefully. This is so important, so much important to know. And make sure that you choose the option which answers the question according to what you have here. Okay, so it's important to hear the question, okay, and answer according to that one. You need to hear very quickly, okay, and you need to focus on that. Okay, so according to what you heard, not according to just seeing uh, the question and seeing the answer itself. Four, don't work on a question while the next question is being spoken. And this is important. Please, stop working when you hear a question, okay? Or even you hear a program to focus, okay, in order to focus. You need to know that when you work, it will disturb you, absolutely. You won't be able to hear that other question or the next question and find the answer. So you may escape, okay, from the, the other one, okay? So you will miss, I mean, the other question. So don't work on, on a question while the next question is being spoken. Okay, and this is was the note and the tips for listening question today. Okay, if you have any question or something like that, you can go back to the book and find out the QR 
spark code and try to find out on Ain uh, portal. It will be available there. Okay. Let's let's mention something else. As you can see here, these are the questions. And here you haven't heard the question actually, you only have the answers, okay? But if you want to make sure, okay, for example, your answer, okay, you need to, to look at here. This is the, uh, Larry was speaking, okay? And as you can see here, I am here with Dave, Okay, astrology is native. What does it mean native? Native means he is an origin from this place. Okay, and as you know, you are Saudi and you are native in Saudi Arabia. Okay, not a foreigner. Okay, so native here, it means he lives and he came from this uh, area. Who has been attending this rally for over 50 years? Okay, so he's, he was asking him, Dave, tell us a bit about the rally. Okay, then Dave started telling him, or told, telling him, okay, what happened? Hey, Larry, welcome to Sroji's. Well, the Sroji's motorcycle rally actually began with a small motorcycle race 68 years ago. Okay, now it is a huge event that draws over. How many, okay, 500,000 people to our small town for an entire week, entire week in August. And this is, was the first part, okay. Let's go to see the second one, the second part now. Here. The second one, Larry was asking him, okay, and the rally lasts an entire week. Entire week, it means seven days, seven continuous, continuous days, okay, continuously. What kind of events take place during the week and also where do all these visitors stay? And he mentioned what the events were. Number five. Okay, and Dave said every day here are organized riders. Okay, and these are, uh, these are day riders, which usually begin at around eight, 9 a.m. and end around 6 or 7 p.m. Okay, thank you so much, and see you, inshallah, next time.